August 7th, 2013, and I went back home to get my cameras to get a picture of these stone sculptures. And luckily, the artist is here, and uh, actually he's in the process of disassembling the uh, sculptures so that nobody gets hurt uh, having them fall on them or uh, get the rocks kind of messed up by uh, falling over accidentally. So here's our man. He's going to introduce himself. Hi. My name's Kent, Kent Avery. I've been doing the stones for 14 years. A lot of people know, but then, of course, there's going to be people who don't know. So yeah, 14 years. Nice. And what started you uh, doing these sculptures down here? Yeah, uh, two years before that, I met somebody who was doing stone balancing. Oh, really? Yeah. I got excited about it. I got I like stones. Yeah. I like the shapes of them and the, and the textures, of course, and uh, the feel of them. And, of course, when they're balanced, when they're upright, yeah. do you really see those forms? Nice. Now, is this is there any uh, Zen involved in this or uh, a little meditation or...? I think that just naturally falls into place with, with it because you have to be slowed right down and you have to be in, a, in that uh, frame of mind, you know, of, uh, not really thinking about much, just being there like... Like playing the guitar or yeah. whatever. Those now, so some of these sculptures that we're going to see in a minute when I swing the camera, I mean, some of these look impossible. Um, now, do you do you know ahead of time that this is going to work because you've got 14 years of experience? Well, I'm, I, purely from a sh the shapes, I might see a shape that will work with another shape, so to speak. You know, like this one might just settle, you know, fit on top of this one a little easier. Yeah. But until you, until it goes on to there, you don't know, right? Right. So mostly by feel. Right. Yeah. You just feel that it's going to be right. Yeah, because when, when, like a bigger, particularly when a bigger stone goes on a smaller stone, most of the time it's throwing the the balance off below. So you've got to subtly, very fine tune the one below. Right. So that's where it gets really sublime, so to speak. Right. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Subtle. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Cool. like it. So I'm going to uh, leave this uh, fellow here. I kind of disturbed his day a little bit. So I'm going to go and uh, take some pictures and video of his sculptures while he uh, continues on doing his thing. Thank you very much. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. Lucky to meet you down here. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I'll say because I don't know. I very rarely ever come here in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Ah. My lucky day. Yeah. Ah. Thank you. Well, gonna... I wish you would have come like a uh, 15 minutes earlier, there would have been more of them still up. Yeah, really? Well, I know. I yeah. Like I said, I wandered down here without my camera, so then uh, I missed out for sure. Right. Do you live, where do you live here? Down in the West End on Harrow. No, I come every weekend. Oh, there you are, really? Yeah. Until the fall. Yeah. So. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Everybody here appreciates this stuff. Yeah. Wonders at it. Impossible. I mean, who would ever dream that you could stack that up without glue or steel pins or something? So we're right out here. This is the uh, close to Second Beach. This is uh, Stanley Park Seawall. And we're out here just admiring sculptures. He's been taking them down, like he was saying, so we missed a few. I know there was more earlier when I came by. Cool stuff. Not the usual rusty trucks and old machines that you get on this channel, but this is fun stuff. I wanted to uh, capture this because some days like this go by and then you end up Forgetting all about them. Amazing. Just a hundred percent balance. This one here. Yeah, that's truly amazing. That looks impossible. 
like the one I was talking about before. Swing around this way. There's another one. Doesn't look possible. It's an absolutely beautiful day out here. There's one more little one kind of going into the sun over here. There's a great one there. Like a fantastic day. It's one of those days when you just wish the summer would go on forever. The peaceful. Bunch of nice people out walking, running. Everybody's kind of casual saying hello and good morning and everything else. Uh, it's quite nice. A couple days ago was the uh, Festival of Lights Fireworks. There's hundreds of thousands of people down here and now there's just a handful of people out doing their morning routine.